Hey guys, just wanted to share some 52 volt settings for the phase runner and the BBS HD. So, got the screen open here. By no means am I a professional e bike calibrator. This is just some settings that I'm using that I got the bike to feel the most like the stock controller plus a little bit more. So, first off, you want to run the auto tune. Every engine could be slightly different, so make sure you run the auto tune. I chose to stick with the default settings here for the 95 amp on the phase current. I've heard of guys going higher. That's just what it was set to. Maybe it was 90, maybe I bumped it slightly. No issues yet. And I've been beating on this thing pretty good. Uh, limited the motor to 3000 watts. That's just based on my battery. I don't really want to be uh, cooking up the BMS, so putting a ton of heat, it is a fat bike. So the other stuff I tuned over here was the ramping output from the factory. It had quite a bit of ramp into it, which gave it like a really lethargic feeling. I took that out, put it to one milliseconds, the lowest on all of it. Uh, virtual freewheeling is something I put in there. This really helps with that the chain smack while you're you know pedaling or accelerating on and off throttle. You're gonna want to fine tune the current to your bike, your setup, your motor. This was just enough to get the front sprocket to just barely turn enough to keep the cassette going. I did this for a 250 second stall out time. Um, this kind of gave me, you know, the brakes easily overpower it, but it just kind of made it a, a nicer overall drive. To me, this is kind of really important. Um, the field weakening is something I put just to get a little more RPM out of this setup. I am going 72 volt. Um, for the reason of gaining RPM. So this is, this gave me, a, I think this bumped me up to, I think right around 200 RPM versus 170, 580, I was saying. So it's just a slight bump in RPM. Um, that's on the basic setup. On the advanced setup, um, central lift starting is kind of important. This is what it gets the motor going in awkward situations where it's, it's not in closed loop yet. Um, 42 amps is about well, 42.7, I could make it an even number, but uh, 42.7 is what worked for me in that, that whole time. Just got it to be, you know, it goes in most situations. This is slightly less than the factory. Well, I was running a Ludicrous controller before, so this is slightly less than that, but this is gonna give you a good overall feel. Um, I missed the rest of the screen here. So those are the settings that are actually on the Phase Runner suite itself that I'm using. And we can go back. Again, I'm not a professional, but this is what's just been working for me. If you have any feedback or tips, obviously drop them in the comments below.